Did Uber forget my drink? Oh my god. They did forget my drink. But it's cool though. Because on the next episode of Bikini Body Conscious Living, <laughs> we got your boy, the one and only, the nigga you love. To not hate is Big Daddy King. Yes, sir. <laughs> and on this episode, we got your three favorites. Selena, Audrey, and Camise. The ones you've been sticking with since day one. They ain't going nowhere. They hit a state. And me, of course. Nickname Pataway. But that's just me. So y'all, I'm checking out and y'all are tuning in. See you on the next episode. We are going to talk today about snacks because, okay. you know, it's so hard for people to remember to snack throughout the day. I agree. So we have some items that Selena brought out um, to help people and to help teach them that it's so, so simple to just keep something with you all the time. So um, what do we have up front there, Selena? Okay, well, this is my little twist for today, right? So mm -hmm. basically what I did today was bring in products that are already made. I didn't have to cook anything today. That this makes was, it really easy. Yes, this was fun. And I'm so, here again with my favorite girl, Dr. Audrey Beth, who's going to keep me in shape. <laughs> so we have a fitness tip for you today. You can do it at home. You can do this at the office. And I'm not sure, again, what we're going to do today. So we're doing what today, Doc? We're actually stretching today. So today oh, is good. kind of a feel-good day. This must be my birthday. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is something that uh, so many people forget, and it really puts you at risk of more injuries. So okay. um, this is also, one of them is a very relaxing stretch. So now if you okay. stand back just a little All bit. Right. I'm going to stand just a little okay. bit back You're here so I don't perfect. bump into you. So okay. what I want you to do is take a really deep breath, and everybody out there, <laughs> come relax with us. Let's do a little stretch. So stand up and ready. Let's get our arms straight up. Take a deep breath in and get those arms overhead. Okay. Okay. Step apart just a little bit. And we're all going to lean to the right as far as we can. Get a good stretch in. And that feels so good, doesn't it? Uh. <laughs> and we're going to come back up. And remember, we always have to go to the other side. Okay. So let's get a good reach to the left. And this feels really Ugh. good on our side. I'm and our stiff. Arms. Yeah. I think I'm being and overworked. back up. And another really deep breath in. Ready? Uh -huh. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just bring your arms down. And we are going to do a quick quad stretch. Okay. So this is really important before we work out to okay. stretch those quads. Big muscles that can get very tight. And, and your quads sore. are here. All of this. Okay. Yes. So I want you to stand on your left foot. My left foot. Stand on your left foot. Okay. And let's bring our right leg back. All right. And grab your foot. Okay. And stand nice and straight. Mm -hmm. And breathe. Keep that core tight. If you need help with balance, you can bend that stabilizing leg a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or you can stand near a counter, dresser, bed, anything like that. Okay. Not you. But <laughs> anybody at home that has trouble, Camisa has been practicing, so she doesn't need help. Tony, and we have a very special guest today. This is Big Daddy Kane. Welcome. Glad to be here. <laughs> we are here in sunny Southern California at the Art of Rap Festival. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Where are you guys? You're going all over the country, or is it just? Basically, Ice T. He did a documentary movie about hip hop, and it was well perceived in. Um, um, he put together a tour mm -hmm. and with a lot of the artists that did interviews in the movie and basically it's a whole big festival thing because there's so many artists and from so many different um, generations, mm -hmm. you know, first, second, third, fourth generation of hip hop, I mean, which is something that's never been done. So, I mean, I think it's something that's creative and innovative and I believe that people are going to take to it and it's going to be very successful. Big ups to Ice-T. I just think it's great that all the different generations are working together mm -hmm. because that's the way you educate one another, you know? I mean, I learned from a passing generation. Right. You know, I learned from the great things that they had, had achieved, and I learned from the mistakes they made, you know? So, I mean, mm -hmm. I think that, you know, for a younger generation to learn how to do things right, you have to really pay attention to the generation before. Right. When I was a child, you know, I would go outside, and I'm playing um, tag, uh, stickball, Coco Livio, and all this stuff, you know? So... I was always active as a child. Did you let the girls play tag with you? <laughs> oh, no, no. We had a different name for that. It was called Run, Catch, and Kiss. Oh, oh. Run, Catch, and Kiss. I, I don't think I ever heard I've quite heard that, that term. RCK? No. Uh. I'm not saying that the game wasn't played. I'm just saying I don't think it had a name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Bikini Body Conscious Living, and I'm your host, Camise, today, and I'm happy to be here because we're going to talk about a subject that is sending fire <laughs> under my fingernails. <laughs> and that is the subject of why is it, first of all, 
I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, but I'm a little bit older than 21. And if I chose to, to hook up, okay, with someone who's a little bit younger, does that make me adventurous? Does that make me sexy? Or does that make me a cougar? <laughs> now, but if, now, hold on, okay, or they'll call me a dirty old woman, <laughs> although I'm not old. But if someone like <laughs> Donald Trump or whoever decides to get a someone who's 30 years younger, then normally it seems that it's acceptable because mm -hmm. he's like, you know, he has money and he's, you know, well established and that's kind of the spoils that come with that. That is such BS. Can I say BS? And double standard. Yeah. It's double standard. So I'm saying. Right? If I hook up with a younger guy because I have a lot of energy and I'm exercising, I'm yes, exercising yes. routine, I'm eating right and building rocking, that libido. Exactly. <laughs> then I should not be judged for that. that you should I, not I be judged. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because if I want to wake him up once and wake him up again, he should be able to get up. Well, then you, you right? know, get up. You may need somebody younger for that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> old men can't do that. No. Old men want to wait. Wait a minute. Got a couple of hours. I don't want a couple of hours. I gotta go. <laughs> we have shows, right? That's what right, I'm saying. Right. Right. No, so, it, it really is a double standard, and in our society, it is seen as very acceptable for older men to be with younger yeah, women. I mean, yes. You, you have a guy who's a 75, 80. He's with someone 25 or 30, and then if there was a 70-year-old woman with a guy who was 25 people would be falling over themselves. Yeah, I mean, is it, yeah. Was it Catherine Zeta-Jones? Is that and Michael it is? Douglas? And Michael Douglas? I mean, there's a there, huge age difference there. Years, I think. And, well, and yeah. I don't think anybody even really said anything about it, but when Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher got together, no, that, was a big that deal. to me was right. like a big deal mm -hmm. and was out there that everybody was talking about. Yeah, I mean, exactly. not that it was a big deal to me no, or to you no. or something, but it was presented but the media, as, the media can you believe did. this is going on? Mm -hmm. Why, you it was know. a big deal to me because I'm thinking mm -hmm. more power to her. Because Absolutely. basically she's lighting the way. But it's just, it really is just, it's frustrating because guy, if you, if it's an older guy, especially a wealthy older guy with mm -hmm. a younger girl and she's hot and she's a model, brains or no brains, we don't really care. We're not talking <laughs> about that part, but, but it's, it's seen as though that the guy, the guys think that, that the gentleman has it going on. Oh yeah. And the women are like, boy, you know, but she's you know lucky. What? I wish I'd have got him. I think you it's know? still a double edged sword because if you're the younger woman in that relationship, mm -hmm. you're judged. And right. if you're the older woman in the relationship with the younger guy, you're judged. It's not really the guy that's being judged. Right. It's not the older man or the younger man. It's I always agree. the woman that's sure, being judged. So, you know, how do you win in this situation? Mm -hmm. As a woman, you're you're always on the wrong end of that. So, you know, what do you do? And and at that point I say we do what we do and just Exactly. Do what and that is how you went.